Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to some more PGA Tour career mode. This is part six. Hope you guys are enjoying. Keep hitting that like button. The support has been absolutely crazy. I super appreciate it, guys. It's been mental. Um, one of my best series so far. Up, uh, We're going to do the international challenge here now. Uh, we're going to do it in short rounds for the first three, and then on Sunday we'll do it in the full round, which is what I'll be doing for, from now on. We're going to start in Royal Troon Golf Links here um, and see how it goes. We're gonna see how it goes. I, I wish the like you didn't have to choose your own wins. I wish like um certain times it would be incredibly windy, and then other times it wouldn't be. Because I want to turn winds on. I'm gonna put it up for this. I I don't know if I can actually in mid round, but because Royal Troon, there'd obviously be heavy winds here. I'm gonna put it up to like pretty heavy winds and see and see what the story is. But but, but do they change it? During your career mode for, for certain courses? Or do you have to change it yourself? I'm not sure because in the normal rounds you change you choose your win yourself. But maybe in the career mode they they choose it for you. I'm not exactly sure on that one, but we'll see. We'll see if we can change it here or we'll see if if we just gotta do whatever they tell us to do. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the International Challenge. Francesco Molinari leads with a 66. Interesting. Okay. In some good golf early on. Let's get you caught up as we go out to the seventh hole. Frank, nothing spectacular to this point in the first round. Let's see what here. does the player need to do? just to kind of generate some momentum. I actually think they're playing all right, Rich. It's just, you know, you That's compared to the top of the leaderboard, you start to think, well, maybe they're struggling. But there's ebbs and flows in this game. At the moment, it's just sort of almost like a holding pattern. But it's time to change that. Uh, no, I don't think you can change it here. Let's see if you can change it in here. I don't think so. See, wind gusts on. No, you can't. Okay. Well, okay. Whatever. We're just going to have to deal with low winds. And maybe it's just whatever they choose for you. I'm not sure on that one. Okay, let's jump in here and drive away. Bombs away here at the verse. Oh, oh I like that. That's an extraordinarily good drive there, Healy Lodge. So I assume this is going to be similar to St. Andrews and shit like that where it bounces a lot and goes fair it's not a soft course in, the third round. in any capacity here we go that should it be was fair. low it was a great round wasn't it yeah it was the lowest round he's ever shot in the open championship 64 to be precise and justin lynn went on the win Come on, hop on there oh yeah oh yeah ladies and gents it's not quite as firm as st andrews and tpc scottsdale but it's quite firm shouldn't be a problem here but not a formality either Oh, barely in the side door there for Healy. It's a birdie, though. It's a birdie. Very volatile at the moment. So what a move in that middle piece of the leaderboard. Top 20 so far. Okay, um, 21 foot down. That is, uh, I think this... 70 foot down? Maybe a little more than that. 130, probably. Is what we should go for. Should be pretty good right there. On the safe side. Yeah. yeah, it's not that firm actually. I thought it was firmer. It doesn't hop on as much as I thought it was. Royal Troon is just not as quite as fast as I was expecting it to be. That's a slicer. That's a slicer of a putt right there. You couldn't ask for much more than that. You could. You could ask for it to be better. Oh, what the hell? I don't know what just happened there. Stays at one under. It's a one under. It's a par. It's a par save. Molnar leads at five under. Frank, the ninth hole quarter, 23 yards, not especially long by today's standard. You're looking to make birdie here. Or you're happy to make a par and move on to the back nine. Well, there's certainly a chance for birdie. One of the hardest things about the ninth is the raised green. Um, and it's sort of, there's two tiers here. Just the top level. If that pin is on the top tier, top level then you would certainly walk away with four very happily. This isn't a raised green. What are you guys talking about? It's downhill. Oh, that was a short swing. Damn it. 
probably still would have been short, but um, oh, I hopped on. It's okay. Sorry, right. a little chip in. It should be okay. But still not done. Um, a good third shot. Maybe get away here with par. Okay, I'm gonna actually switch to 55 degree here and play a little bit shorter and run that in. Okay. Right, that should be good. Yes! Come on! What a shot. Healy chips in at the second for a birdie two, three. I mean birdie three. And we're to the top ten. Damn. Performance on the front side, but Frank, we know it's an 18-hole game, isn't it? That's right. Now's not the time to pat yourself on the back. Oh, I sliced that one. I sliced it badly. I didn't think I sliced it that bad. It's going to be a guy. Looks like, and it is not looking like a good one. Okay. Apparently, I did. Second shot coming out of the rough here. Um. We should be able to, oh, this is heavy, heavy rough. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid I'm going to have to take an iron and lay up here. There's no freaking way. Or should I just go for it? I'll just freaking blast it out of here. Whatever. Wow, way to the right here. Oh my right god, I didn't even make it to the next fairway, and I don't mind the green. Rich, Jesus like Christ, I should have taken an iron. Get too much grass between club face and ball. You can have to 12 foot up, we're going to have to go Please take a above the green. We'll go more. full 52 here. Out of this rough, I think we need more though. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go just like aiming for the back of the green here. Like that, kind of. Oh yeah. That's a good shot from where I was now. That's for a par, unfortunately, but that was a great shot. That's the first shaped shot that I've done pretty good. It was low, but it was good. 21 foot, a little bit of break, and that's not enough. Not enough at all. That's a bogey. That's a disappointing bogey, guys. Settles in over the putt. Damn it. Damn it, bogey. We're still in the top 20, but that's the, the, the point of bogey. Mark Leishman, Streelman, all up the top. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's good. All right, let's jump back from that bogey and make a birdie here. And hopefully she's two or three under on her first round instead of one. One would be meh. Two or three would be pretty good. So we got two holes left here. Approach shot. Our featured golfer is a player. It's it's six foot up. That should be good because it should hop on it with the. Uh, it what the sport is, and, and golf is a great example. That should hop on. Look. Oh yes. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Oh. <laughs> a 204 yard beauty from Healy, and that's going to be a straight birdie. That's how. You, that's how you recover. That's how you recover, ladies and gentlemen. Right there. Just gorgeous. What a freaking birdie that was. Amazing. It's amazing. In the top 10 now. Former college standout has been excellent today. Yeah, damn right we have. Former college standout. You gonna disrespect me like that, fool? I'm a PGA Tour player now. Beautiful golf shot, and we're gonna try to finish it off here with a birdie and get to three under. Just two shots off the lead would be. 300 yard drive right there. Beauty. Time to take a bite of it. Savor it. Hit the next one close. Okay, five foot up. This should be perfect. And short swing 1%. Oh, did I did I slice that? A little bit? I guess. Don't you dare go into that bunker. No! You the caught bunker, the bunker. The Damn it. I didn't down. think that I sliced that. All right, so green side bunker. What's oh, you looking Jesus to do with this shot, Frank? Fucking Christ, really this is difficult. You have to look at the amount of green you got to play with. You don't have to try and fly the ball right by the flag. Oh, this is ridiculously Plus, difficult, bro. Like pot, you never know. Might just okay, I think in. we have to play it to like there. This is going to be hard. Oh, that's about the best I could do. I'm happy with that. That's Good a great shot, bunker right shot. My bunker shot in this, my bunker play in this game hasn't been brilliant so far, but so I'll take that for sure. Um, for definite, for definite. So tester from four feet. Yes, we'll take the par there. After it getting caught up in that bunker, and that's round one, two under. Alright, that's okay. 
Don't forget, second round coverage comes Pretty sure we're in the top 10 there. Yeah, top 10 after the first round. Guys, I'll take that any day of the week. So long for now. So long, brother. Putting stroke 63. Okay, I'll take that any day of the week. We're no longer in the top um top 10. We're 11th, but we'll get into the top 10. A top 10 finish on the PGA Tour, I'd be radically happy with that. In our third PGA Tour event. Uh, we got topped. I think we came 23rd and we missed cut. That's our, that's our, that's our stats so far, I think. Although I'm not completely sure. We're going to do the second round here for sure, guys. Good looking place, I must say. Royal Troon, you are savage. International challenge, baby. Ha <laughs> ha. Huzzah. All right, come on. What's happening? Why is it taking so long? Come on, come on, come on, mate. Score two, hole six, position 13. Okay, let's go. 13th position, mate. We definitely got to make the cut. I don't know what the cut line is at the moment, but we'll find out. Well, we're well inside the cut line. We'd have to have a horrible round to miss the cut. Oh, here we go. It doesn't even show Scott line because we're nowhere near it, I think. The wind has picked up today. It's now up to 5 miles an hour. So, yeah, the the wind does change automatically. So, that's cool. Hopefully, like, it picks up at some, at some stages and goes to, like, 14, 20 mile an hour winds like it is in the open today. Um, started the open, played really easy today. Uh, this is day one I'm talking about. Uh, probably won't have this video up on day one. But, um... Uh, it was really easy at the start of the day, but it turned into a really, really difficult day at the end. The winds picked up, and they got to, like, 20-mile-an-hour winds. When Ricky Fowler was finishing off, I was glad he even finished level par because it was, it was playing that difficult. Anyone under par in the afternoon groups was doing really well. Uh, that should be perfect, actually. This is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. Short swing 2%. Oh, yes. That's a bossy heartbeat moment. No, oh, no. I thought it would kick up a little bit more. It's fine. Great approach. Well played. See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. Oh yeah. Yeah, he can. Needs a few more of those. That's for birdie. Three under. This time, I want to get some in the top ten. Into the top ten. Oh yeah, baby. Ricky Fowler is winning. He's tied for the lead, was he? Or he's one off the lead. Ricky! My favorite golfer in the world. Oh, that was a slice. How did I slice that? I I didn't. I seem to be slicing a few of them as well. Hmm. Oh, a bit offline. That's quite a while offline. Oh, Jesus. This is not going to be easy either. Look at that rough. I'm going to have to die up here because it's 64% and it's 20. Okay. This is going to be difficult. I had to smash that one. That's not even. Oh, I hit that guy. See, that wasn't even near the green. Jesus Christ. Another shot from the rough. Yeah, this time better be better than the one we just saw. No shit. See, how far do you have to hit it out of this heavy rough? Wow, you really have to smash it. I guess this is Royal Troon, so you have to freaking hit it hard out of this rough, but I didn't think it was going to be that extreme, you know? Okay, that's alright. We're going to have that for a bogey now. We have to make that one. How was the one? Coming out of the rough, able to manage the distance and now Yes, okay. We we needed that one. That's a that's a round a round keeper right there, just a bogey, because if you get a double, that kind of screws you up completely. But that's alright, that's just a bogey. Ricky Fowler hasn't even teed off yet, he's he's five under on a sad. The old squad, Gene Sarah's and Ooh, God, we're gonna have to play this way short. That, that far short? Even further short, I would say. Oh, that's terrible. It's not actually that bad, but... It was short, though. Okay, that should be good. It's a free chip here. Come on, get in. Yes, that's my second chip in. Yeah, baby. That's what you call a birdie. That's a comeback birdie right there. Chip in birdie. I thought we were going to be struggling for par there again, but that's a 
Chip and birdie. I'm happy with that. 423 yards. What are you looking to do with this one, Frank? What's well, another one that's dog -like Oh, my hand slipped on that one. That's a that's a definitive tear. My hand completely slipped off the controller. Here. <laughs> oh my god. Look at this one. Oh no. Oh god, no, the heavy rough again. I'm just gonna play this back to the fairway. I don't even care. There's no way I can reach the screen unless I got like What do I gotta do? No, because if I hit more than an iron, it's just not gonna work really. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit a big fade here. This is not hitting in the right direction. Oh god! Screw this rough! This rough is crazy, man. Watch this, I'm gonna hit 108 yards for a 79 yard shot. Does this get on the green? Oh my god, it doesn't even reach. That's not bad though. Move this for a par. We have to chip in for a par this time. Come on, we can chip in again. We can do this again. Come on. Come on, Rick. You got this, brother. Turlock, I should say. Yo! What? Oh, that's another bogey. Burnt the edge there. God damn it. We got experience for burning the edge. That's how close that one was. God damn. Takes care of business there. Solid strike. Just outside the top ten now. Is that the end of our round or nine holes in the books here at Royal Troon? Rich Lerner no, two holes left. Frank okay. Nabolo, who played the Open Championship on two occasions, once alongside Tiger Woods. We're getting set for the back nine action. Frank, tenth hole. What's it look like? Well, from the championship tees, it's actually a blind tee shot. The ball to the All right, that's three uh, over three hundred yards. That one. Over the sand hill. Not a single bunker. In the, in the heart of the fairway, one hundred eighty yards in. Foot up though. That's slightly sliced again. Look at I keep slicing the ball. Hit that kind of foot. I don't understand this. I need to stop slicing. That's what I need to do. I need to start. Really? That was thick rough then, huh? That's ten foot away. That's not that close, dude. You know that, right? I don't want to make back-to-back -back bogeys here, ladies and gentlemen, so please let's sink this one. No! I thought I missed it! I had thought I'd missed that one. That is absolutely haunted to get that one. Ricky Fowler's just started his round, so it's... I don't know if that's Dustin Johnson or Rick or Zach Johnson, but one of them is live under. The tee shot is so important here. This is one tee shot if you I'm miss, straight at this one. The prize deeply. Oh, my hand slipped again. That one's okay, though. Thank God. Tom Weisskopf was one of my... I love the way you swung. Damn Alright, that's a beautiful shot. We need to make a few birdies now. Uh, this is the last hole, okay. In round three, we need to make a few birdies. Four foot up. Okay, what about... I think with that win, that should be perfect. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Sit, 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 ball, sit. Oh, my God. Went way too far. I thought with the win, or with the, it was four foot up with the win, I thought it would cancel each other out, but I got I didn't go the club up, I was going to go the club up. Jesus, I would have been way too far. It's a birdie putt here, and it's pretty straight, huh? It's almost dead straight. Um, oh crap, why did I move it then? Okay, at the end there is a little bit of a break, so that might be perfect. Get in, get in, yeah, what? Looks like what? That. Oh, how did that even lip out, ladies and gentlemen? That's like a, a hard lip out right there. It's a par. I thought I'd hold a 36 footer right there, but apparently not. So two rounds in the books. Two rounds in the books, two under. Whatever. Zach Johnson, it is. Francesco Malinari, Zach Johnson, Ricky Fowler. That's a, Dustin Johnson's at four under too. <laughs> okay, so they're both up there. Both the Johnsons are up there. For the next 36 holes. Alright, we got some equipment and shit like that. Our mid-game went up there. We're going to do the third round here as well, guys. And then we'll do the final round in part seven. Um, so, we're two under right now. After We're just outside the top ten. So, if we can have a good third round here, uh, we'll set ourselves up for... Uh, this is moving day, so we'll set ourselves up for a challenge on Sunday. Let's try and do that. And, and 18 holes on Sunday should be a lot of fun. Okay.
we'll see. We probably won't be in 13th um, after round two is done because there's a lot of players yet to play, I'd say. We'll have a look now. Come on, mate. Come on. It's longish loading times in between rounds, but there's not the loading time during the round, which is absolutely amazing. Frost by three engine, or I think it is Frost by three or something like that. So, or yeah, we're 16th um, outside the top 10. Let's try and make the top 10 here and and give ourselves a, a, a chance on PGA Sunday. Sports That'll be pretty awesome. The PGA Tour oh, Zach Johnson has streamed the ahead there. The Jesus. Today it's live Where's Ricky gone? Ricky's after falling Nash away back, Chapman. is he? Ricky was 500. He's not there anymore. He must have had a bad day yesterday. He makes okay. a great pass at the golf ball. What a drive. Beautiful time. hole, too, right along the beach there. Royal Troon's quite a beautiful course, I must say. I can't wait to play this in the full 18 in the next round. It should be interesting. Very interesting. Pretty yards here. Golf club. But there is something else that separates those kinds of players with the truly great achievers in the sport. What is it? Great achievers have more than one plan. I, I think most players, it's always. Oh my God! I think it's because I'm trying to take something off it. I'm I'm trying to swing like lighter for those, for those ones. So I'm try I end up slicing it. So because I've done that way too many times now. They have the plan C as well, and that's the difference. So when you set foot on the first tee, you've also got to be aware of what if my driver doesn't play as well as I. All right, st st stop, stop, stop. Can I still compete? So they can turn 74 into a 71. That's right, and at the end of a four-day tournament, the 71 doesn't look so bad. Even if somebody shot 65 that day, remember, as as you know, when we both, and both of us know now. Are you kidding me? Days, Start off with a bogey. Not good, guys. For a day, but they don't play bad. Golf tournaments aren't 100-yard sprints; they're marathons. God damn it! That's a Frank, bad start. Kind of a turn. Another bogey. Yeah, it's not exactly a Whitener, four under, under two seven. Uh, yeah, we need to get back. We need to get back on it, guys. These we only have three holes left too. We need to birdie all three of these, really, if we want to have a chance on Sunday. And Zach Johnson needs to have a bad day. I want a top ten finish. I want a goddamn top ten finish. We need a birdie here. All right, 108 here. Three mile an hour win. That should be just perfect. That's another slice, though. God damn it, man. That's okay, though. That's a birdie chance, still. I sliced that slightly, but it, it still came back with the win, though. Oh, my God, a lip out. It's not going to be my day today. One over. We need to get a birdie birdie finish here, ladies and gents. Come on. Let's finish birdie birdie. Frank, you can see by the reaction. Get the three under. Kind of Hopefully be in the top ten. Or just outside the top ten and try and get a top ten on Sunday. Sort of short par four, just okay, I don't want to risk going into that, so I'm going to hit it three with here. Key here Rich. I'm going to hit you don't three high, Bradley. Really more than 280 yards. Reason why there's a burn there. And then from there, still only a wedge into a green. It has two tiers. Just in case, just just want to take it completely out of play. I know this wasn't probably going to get there with three wood, but just in case it like bounced hard or something. And from the fairway for his second shot here. All right, uh, around here. Sit. Okay, that's a that's a chance. Get the two under. Come on. Not a gimme, but well within his range. I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. At least he's burning the edges. You know you're hitting good parts. God damn it, man. Are you are you just kidding me? Our, our last two putts, one's lift out and one's like just been completely stopped on the edge of the hole. God, we're not doing good on this round. One over on headed into the last hole. We can only do even at best now. Oh god, freaking! That's okay, Ashley. I thought I sliced that one again, but nope. This is a par five. Let's try and get an eagle here or something. Something crazy. 
or no, we're not going to get there, unfortunately. Gonna, will we hit driver, driver for the last? Could we? Possibly? How crazy would that be? Let's try it. Fuck it. I don't care. I'm hitting driver, driver. I shouldn't have brought it back. I should have just left it be at driver, driver. And that would have been... I would have been right by the hole if that was the case. Alright, let's try chip in here for an eagle. Come on. We need this chip in. Third, staring right at the green. We need this. Oh! Try. Okay. Come on! It's a birdie, but I needed like to get the three under at least. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I was not paying attention there, guys. Now pop. Oh no! I was just swinging my analog back because it was in it was in a weird position. I was putting it back to the middle and I was just practicing and swing. I wasn't even paying attention. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, we should be two under. Jesus Christ. We should be like four under, honestly. Oh my god. I'm, I'm mad now, dude. Are you kidding me? I feel like crying after that. I can't believe I missed that one. It was an accident. God damn it. We're level par now? How are we level par now? I finished one under. What does that even mean? Why am I level par? I finished one under. That doesn't make any sense. How come I, I'm going back to level par? Did they like simulate out the rest of my round? That doesn't make sense. If they did, that's dumb. God, I'm pissed now. I'm hella mad. At least we have the full 18 holes to get back, get it back. And now we're plus one. What? I finished one under. Why am I suddenly plus one? That doesn't make any sense. I'm confused. It's it's randomly changing my score. You can't do that. What the hell? All right, whatever. Screw this shit. I'm. I'm gonna end the part here anyway guys and I'm I'm incredibly mad right now, but hope you guys enjoyed this part. If you did make sure to hit with a big like and we'll be back with more PGA tour very soon. Mahalo.